Hello guys, and welcome back where we last left off. We're now supporting a shift completely to the right towards authoritarianism. So, without further ado, I guess let's just keep going. Let's keep going with this. 1922. So, I've had, um, I've had time to upload the previous free parts that I've done. And I've got a few comments, you know, saying about the narrative I'm driving. And they're asking, why don't I just join the Axis if I'm going to be National Socialist? Now, I'm not opposed to joining the Axis. No, that would be, could be quite fun. However, I've done it before in one of my other games. And, um, yeah, it kind of just turns into a lawn war where nobody can really kill anyone. Uh, so, you know, Germany will stomp all of Russia, you know, all of, like, this big continent here will be taken over by either Japan, Germany, or, you know, the variations of the axis. But they can never take Britain. They can never cross to America. And all that happens is, from Britain, they launch bombers after bombers and just nuke key facilities. And it, it never, you never really seem to get anywhere, at least in that sort of time frame. So instead, uh, you know, I, I join the Allies, because at least with the Allies, you get the Cold War Divide, where uh, Russia take everything that Russia takes in the East is a uh, communist. You know, even if you just, like, say, um, uh, no, Russia cuts off around here. You know, it takes all that land. All that land will turn into independent communist nations, and everything here, if, like, the American, Spanish, and French, British people... Uh, take a fin along this line, uh, that'll all be, you know, a democracy or a variation of that, you know. So, since I've made the cutoff point here, what would happen is these two provinces here of uh, the Netherlands would be communist. There would be a communist government installed there, and this side would have a capitalist government, a democracy. And it would be sort of a divide like that. And that's quite fun, and it leads into sort of Cold War tensions. With Germany, it Everything just sort of settles, you know, there's just a German super state if they win, I suppose. And there's not much that can really be done. So I'm not opposed to the idea of doing it, I just feel it's more interesting to join the Allies. However, the the narrative that I'm driving isn't just for that. Um, I was going to explain it a bit later on down the line. But as National Socialism... Um, this is what I've come up with. As National Socialism, or at least Nationalism, rises in the Spanish Empire, there will be a divide. A.K.A. the Spanish Civil War, which I believe is inevitable inside, you know, the chain of events in leading up to World War II. So when the Spanish Civil War kicks off, instead of it just being uh, Republicans versus, you know, the National Socialists of Franco, it was going to be a divide between, hopefully, my Nationalists and Franco's Nationalists. Now, Franco's Nationalists, if they won, I would play as them, and they would join the Axis. That would probably be how it worked out. Uh... Oh, oh, Ar Ireland! Hello, Ireland! You have become independent! Something will change very soon about that, then. Uh, the people of Ireland have declared the independence from the uh, United Kingdom. Yeah, so what should happen very soon is that a Northern Ireland appears for a brief moment and then gets absorbed back into the United Kingdom. And we've got Great War Carrier Pigeons. I'll continue with my train of thought in a moment. I'm just going to see how Ireland turns out. Uh, what else can I get here? Uh, uh, let's go with... No, not that. That's It's useless at the moment, I'm not even getting navy, so... Let's go with static uh, anti-air. Will this pop up? Belfast. Will this turn into anything? Okay, not for a while. Uh, but, I mean, it's uh, going for like some events there. Anyway. So it's going to be a divide between my nationalists and Franco's nationalists. If the Fra uh, you know Franco's nationalists, who I'll be fighting against, win, then I'll play as them, and I'll join the Axis. You know, I'll make sure they join the Axis and they fight, and we'll have that giant, you know, grind of attrition. Maybe I'll launch an invasion of Great Britain for Ireland or something, or maybe I go from Canada into the United States. Who knows? Oh wait, there it is. It's independent for a brief moment in history. The Northern Ireland state, the Northern Irish state. And then it gets absorbed back into the British Isles. Alright, so now we've got Ireland, who is a puppet and a member of uh, the Allies. I don't know how long that stays there for. I don't know if they'll stay like that. 
in the uh, so in this scenario, that something's gonna be messed up. But yeah, if my nationalists win, then I get to sort of make my own narrative of my nationalists want to be part of the Allies, where Franco's want to be part of the Axis. Now, there is a divide. This is what I'm coming up with. There will be a divide because my nationalists want Spanish superiority over the world. You know, they want to maintain an alliance with the British and the French because they're big empires and they're Western nations and they believe they're superior. However, Franco believes in German and Italian ideals and they want to join them. However, mine do not believe in that because, of course, Germany believes in Aryan uh, supremacy. And uh, Italy wants to recreate a Roman Empire, which included Spain, which would not be beneficial in the long run. So, it was sort of a divide there, I think. That would be core principles. Mine would be more towards Spanish, uh, like, superiority and Western superiority, you know, tolerating the Allies until they outlive their usefulness. Whereas Franco wants to be part of a big block, you know, unite with the Germans and Italians, just disregarding their ideals. And that would be sort of the split. So, I don't know what you think in the comments about that. Uh, whether you want me to go with the Axis anyway, or stick with this narrative of... It's not happened yet, because nationalism is still barely coming up. You know, we're barely in authoritarianism. I'll have to get a bit further on, maybe towards partial or autocrats. You know, a semi-dictatorship there. But when we get there, there'll be like a divide, there'll be factions, you know, drawn, and we'll see how it goes from there. But if you, any of you in the comments have anything that could maybe sound good as part of a narrative in history, it has to be historical, don't just say, uh, Superman busts in and, you know, destroys Italy or something like that. But, you know, if you can come up with, like, a, a plausible narrative for the continuing Spanish Empire, let me know in the comments. And if it's good, I'll take it in. If not, then, uh, you know, keep the fun ideas rolling in. Because the interwar period will need something... Anyway, now that that's explained, I can have it go on fast without really losing track of anything. Speaking of which, cavalry is coming. And we're still... We're still actually pretty much ahead of everything we need to be. Of everywhere we need to be. So, air doctrines, let's start going for these, I suppose. Uh, can this... Is there anything else I can use? I can use this. Although, it's not that fast, so... I will go with you, you, you. Yes, I'll go with you. And then we got all the morale for all the people. We got the interwar armored car coming in. We got early decryption coming in. And I believe I said when I get to sixty on the industrial capacity, I will start making some actual troops, which will be very handy. Uh, new tank brigade, we're still pretty ahead in tech there. Uh, what should I go for now? I shall go for torpedoes. Let's finally get some torpedoes, I suppose. I'll need to work on the navy at some point, I'll do it now. Early torpedoes. I don't think I ever checked to see if there was anything better, I just sort of went for it. I'm sure there was something better, but I've already committed, so... Never mind. So what's going on around the world, besides Ireland, which is, Ireland, which is, uh, you know, the biggest event so far, you know, and in, in a new independent nation. Nothing really is going on. Oh, by the way, oh, what, what? Huh? I can't even read what that says. Military coup. The military was keen to avoid a fraction, fracture of the states and frowned upon regional nationalism. Resentment of the military and conscription grew with the disastrous... Rift... Rift War? Uh, the accumulation in... Uh, the confrontations of a tragic week the following on Barcelona streets. Animosity directed towards the military and its government led by... Uh, to is Led to establish... Of the National Confederation of Labor, CNT. Uh, the Anarchist Controlled Trade Union. Uh, after the formation of the Comintern in 1919, a growing fear of the uh, Communist emerge. Well, communism emerge, and the ideology was represented by the government through military means. The socialism, the socialist PSOE split, with more radical members found in the Communist Party in 1921 and 1923. Oh god, lots going on. 
They seek power in a military coup for government as Spain as a military dictatorship introduced new policy sweeping programs of public works attempted to defend the agrarian industry monarchist uh, coalition formed during the First World War. Right, what just happened here? Fascism will stop the communist threat. Actually, this plays directly into what I want. This is exactly what I want. This, I guess I'm taking this. I guess, uh, yeah, communism is the biggest enemy, so... Nationalism is spread! I didn't even know this would be a thing, but it's part of my narrative. So, yeah, uh... If we just... We have shifted completely to the right. That is exactly what I wanted. Although that means that eventually a communist government, a left-wing government, will take hold, and there's nothing I can really do about that. Unless it's like a few cheats that I can do, which will make me keep towards my right into the spectrum. But this is what I want, anyway. Actually, I'm pretty close to being able to just declare war. Belligerence must be lower than nine. It cannot be lower than nine. If only Portugal did something offensive, then I could declare war. Never mind. We got 30 goddamn uh, descent. Is there anything I can do? I can, I can do taxes again. Do minimum taxes. And we can do... What can I do? Public security? Go for that again. And off we go. I did not know that would be a fin. But it was apparently a fin, and I am very thankful that that was actually a fin. So, military coup. So you learn something about Spanish history as well in this Let's Play. I didn't know there was a, a coup, but yes, there is. And maybe I should increase my consumer goods so I can get this descent down a bit faster than it currently is. We'll uh, ditch upgrades for that. Also, people say right-click to lock it. It's not right-click. There's, It's not crit-click. It's not alt-crit. It's not... It's not any of these. It doesn't lock. It's, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> At least it's not working for me. I, I, don't, I have no idea. I used to be able to lock it, and now it's it's ruined. It's ruined! You hear me? It's completely ruined. Anyway, I'll keep it like this. So consumer goods will hopefully take it down by at least one every day? No, nope, not even one every day, but we're a little bit better for it, I think. At the very least. And what's this? A decryption in early pharmaceuticals. Given to me by Great Britain. So, yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> what are the other events that come up in Spain? I guess we'll find out over the course of this Let's Play. When minimum wage comes up, I'll have to, you know, not renew it and then renew it so I can get the full effect of getting rid of the national descent. I'm at 20%. I've, I've, I'm fairly sure I've got rid of like over 100% of descent throughout this, in my entire time playing this Let's Play. I must have. Also, I've lost so much industry because of it. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, so I can regain the industry, I'm just going to do this. Uh, keep my supplies ahead, if possible. If just take a chunk forward, yeah, so at least we're getting minus one. And that does not help. Endemic outbreak. God damn it. All it does is reduce our industrial capacity, which is something we couldn't really do with, uh, to lose in the first place. Also, yeah, there's text which have been finished. So, what's new? AA brigades. I suppose I can go for that, or I can go for... Something else, which will help. Early pharmaceuticals. I... Don't see why I shouldn't do early pharmaceuticals. Let's go over early pharmaceuticals. Off you go. And a brigade. Uh, brigade. Thank you. Can our early torpedoes, early decryption, and our better flying doctrine. As France flies around the battlefield, I don't know why they're rearranging. I wonder if they're worried about Italy, but I can't actually see what's going on in Italy. Can't see anything past these borders. Can't see into Portugal, but I guess uh, I have no idea. The National Socialism is in Italy. I'm I'm very disappointed that they was the first ones to get that. 
It's supposed to be me! I was supposed to be the first National Socialist. But no, I'm, now I'm just a partial autocrat. I'm probably gonna lose that to become communist at some point. I will not be happy when that happens. Uh, Flying Circus. Uh, I should go with that. Let's go with the Flying Circus like that. There we go. Nope, they're giving me stuff. They know the Flying Circus, and they also know the Flying Circus. Thank you. But pushing is like, no, I can give you the tech. I can give you the blueprints. Mine, mine superior. I have a better Flying Circus. Uh, we've got our first torpedoes. What about this? I should probably... Let's get the very first set of equipment here. Might as well, since we're here. Romania had the Romanian constitution. The Ottomans have formed a peace treaty. Oh, there was that war? Oh, when did that happen? Oh, maybe that's why there was been fighting. There was a war? Of course there was a war. Yeah, I remember. There was a war that between them for the land, and I guess they just lost it. Uh, review the index. And let's throw it back out there. Yeah, there's been a, a war going on, and the Allies haven't cared to join in. Maybe I should have, like, made them join in. Let's see, if I go, what was it, medium? I think it was medium. Or is it... Oh, wait, no, it's changed, hasn't it? I can still do low, that was what I was doing, but I can no longer do high because I'm... of my, uh, political ideology. So, yeah, if I do low, get that down to 17, eventually it'll be stopped being useful. Although, if I keep renewing it, I might be fine. Depends what they let me do. Take full control of uh, Mongolia and this place there. China, still giant mess. I think I have, I have as much industry as that one Chinese region. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Probably not. This France got over 100. Britain's got over nearly 150 there on base. Germany's got nearly 150. Russia's got 140. America's got 380, but they still cannot beat the goddamn Mexicans down there. What is going on? Right, I'm checking. What is it? Uh, I think it was no fog. What is stopping you? America, please. Please do something there. They'll never be ready in time for World War II at this rate. They'll never kill them. They are still at war, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're at war. They're just... They're not killing them. I don't want to intervene. But... I might have to intervene to make sure... I know Mexico gets formed and the US isn't distracted. I don't want to have to do that though. I want that to be a legit fin. But if it stops them from joining the Second World War, which will kind of be crucial. Because they will be able to produce all their... You know, weapons and troops in the safety of a different continent while we'll be facing down the German menace. And bombers. Oh well, Navy. Let's go with. Actually, no, we'll go over aircraft again. We'll go back to interceptors and. Uh... Oh wait, no, that's. Well, I, I, I think I've still got a few things, yeah. Go to interceptors now! Make me the Interceptors! Make me something better! I know we've just been researching other things, but make it better. Anyway, that's uh, the end of this part, folks, so thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time for God knows what happens, so see you then.